Hey everybody, Orpheus here, welcome back to some more Pokemon Black and White 2. Last time we did miscellaneous things around the world, such as catching ourselves the Legend of Pokemon Heatran, and finishing up our Unova Dex. This time, we're going to redeem our reward for the Unova Dex. So, in order to redeem this reward, you are going to need to see every single Pokemon. Except for four. I, w I wouldn't just skip ahead, but um... This is like 80 episodes worth of stuff you'll have to sit through in order to see the Pokemon. Thankfully, future me, if you're so kind enough, we're going to ahead and show you exactly where to get each of these Pokemon. So, a uh, cue road through memory, ra memory lane.
And with that, we are ready to go. 70 here once you have all your Pokemon. Hello there, Juniper. Hi there, how have you been doing lately? How's your book is coming along? Can I see it? Let me see. Oh, he's got 79 Pokemon. Oh, yeah, I already shown, shown her everything. It's here. This is a gift to thank you for all your hard work. We have obtained the permit. If you have a permit, you can go to the Nature Preserve from Miss Dalton City by plane. Go check it out to see what kind of place it is. Keep up the good work. So yeah, we've only caught 79 Pokemon. But while I'm here, I might as well mention the other rewards available here since we probably won't be coming back. So, what if you're able to catch every single Pokemon in Unova Dex, except for the four legendary Pokemon, Victini, Keldeo, Genesect, and uh, Meloetta, you can talk to her. She'll give you the Oval Stone. This is the first instance in the entire series where you can get yourself the Oval Stone. It, incre it makes it so you won't have to wait as long to get eggs. Talking to you. This is the National Dex. If you're able to get 649 Pokemon, well, however many Pokemon there are, excluding the legendary Pokemon such as Mew, Celebi, Jirachi, um, Deoxys, Manaphy, Fion, Shaman, Darkrai, Arceus, and the other four. Talk to him if you have them all. He will give you the Shiny Charm. And an upgrade to your trainer badge. This is one of the f ways to upgrade your trainer badge even more. I think this is the last one to mention. Wait, there's one more to mention. That'll be in a later episode. So, with him, you get a shiny charm. Doubles the chances of seeing a shiny Pokemon. Which is very rare. So, we're gonna head to Miss Dalton City. And seeing what this permit has to offer for us. So, coming up this way. We can head into this place. The uh, airport. Hello, I have a permit. This is Mr. Alton's cargo service. Deliver a lot of cargo quickly. Oh, that's a permit! That lets you enter the Nature Preserve, which is far, far away from the Nova region. Would you like to go to the Nature Preserve, then? Okay, well, contact Skyla, so please board the plane and wait. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nature Preserve. Welcome to the secret area. Not many have been here, because this place has a lot of bullcrap pre prerequisites to get here. Not only that, this place is amazing. So, Super Rod. So, coming here to the Wild Tier, you can encounter yourself Magikarp and Gyarados. Upwards to level 100. I'm not kidding. You can counter Pokemon here up to level 100. These are mostly your uh, random Pokemon. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly what triggers it. But yeah. Gyarados is you can find here rarely. They can range from very low levels to uh, level 100. Max Potion to start things out. This is indeed a very good completionist reward. So, coming a bit further, sure I guess, another super rod, Let's see what this carp is. <laughs> 49. Okay, I'm thinking that it, that the normal ones, it, not, not through this method, is up to level 100 and then you can find Gyarados here up to level 100. Which is very nice. Next up, bring up the dowsing machine, there's nothing there. So, continuing going along here, of course I must. Alright then. Darn it. Should I set every pellet? Oh well. So, coming through here, we might encounter some new Pokemon that we haven't encountered here before. Since we're going to be getting the grass, pretty soon. So, inside the gra tall grass here while we're going through this place, Starting up is Nuzleaf! You know, for having to see so many Pokemon, you think Nuzleaf would be worth it. 
No. It's alright, but however though, it's a balanced Pokemon having mixed attack and special attack up to level up to a base stat of 100, which is alright. However though, Tangrowth is better for physical, Rose Raid or Lulligan third for special attack unless you want to get a mixture of both. Does not have the best defense in the world. So yeah. It's a lot like Cacturn in terms of its stats and everything, but I just don't recommend it. It's uh, past my book. Yeah, one thing I will say though is I really, really like the atmosphere here. It's like there's so much to explore. So, coming back to the land, we can proceed a little bit further, detour around the plane. So yeah, so right here is the grassways. So this place is a bit of a maze. Next up, we have ourselves Naltaria, but Noctowl! Noctowls are disappointing for this light. Noctowls are meant to be both a normal flying type Pokemon, their stats are not that good. They're meant to be a Route 1 bird, but <laughs> this is a very post-game area. That is a definite no. It's a mediocre Pokemon, there's not really much to it. It can learn some psychic type Pokemon, psychic type moves, but honestly, it's a pass. It suffers from really tinnitus, and yeah, not really. Next up, we have Kecleon. Kecleon is an interesting Pokemon. It's a bulky normal type Pokemon that's good special defense. It sounds rather alright, but yeah. But don't think this Pokemon is that good, because it actually might be pretty decent. The biggest perk of it is its ability. Whenever you hit it with a move, the move it turns into that type. Like, for example, you hit it with a water type move, it'll turn to a water type Pokemon. Surely alright, good for resisting, resisting those that attack it, except Dragon and yeah. Not really so great for then. So, he does move slowly, so if your opponent hits you with another move that's so much rated for stab, it's alright for decent moves, and yeah, I sort of find him underrated, but this late, eh. So, lastly, since we're done with the Kekli on there, it's Giraffe Rig. Giraffe Rig is not that great. Like most of the Pokemon here, it's a meta attack and meta stats all around. So yeah, it's, it's, um, it's an opposite of Santler in some ways. It sets it decent hard. By Drillagent Itis, base, best base stat is 90, which is kind of mediocre. So yeah, you can find better sex at Pokemon in Alakazam and Sharna, or better physical attackers in like Statland and such. It's just meh. But I don't really recommend it, and I say pass. Next up, I want to avoid that thing for now. Instead, we get ourselves a tall grass here. Meep beep! Alright then, so continuing... Continuing onward, I think... I'm not for sure, I'm gonna test something out. I haven't really done much in these waters. I'm gonna fish here for a little bit. Okay, I'm not having any luck here. I was, I was trying to see if you can find yourself Magikarp up to level 100 in this pond. Guess not. So here in the back part, we get ourselves a big nugget. A big service nugget. So, next up. That's really it here for the, th for the um, regular stuff. But we have ourselves the main entree here. Something worth saving for. So, heading forward. Ladies and gentlemen, Shiny Haxorus. That's right, Shiny. Level 60, Rivalry or Moldbreaker for the ability. Guillotine, Swords Dance, Dragon Pulse, and Taunt. Absurd attack power. Shiny form. But in all seriousness, Haxorus is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. In fact, number two behind only Victini. I really like Haxorus. It's a really cool Pokemon. Very bulky. Very, pretty fast, especially compared to a lot of other Pokemon. It's a really cool Pokemon. I really like Haxorus. It's an interesting Pokemon. Cool design. And the fact that you get yourself a shiny form of one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Of course I'd book it here. Is it worth all this trouble? Well, Swords Dance plus Outrage. Yeah, you may have to grind it up a bit, but there's a lot of free grinding in this game. 
One, two, three. There we go. We have caught ourselves a shiny Pokemon. Normally, shiny Pokemon are a 1 in 8,000 chance. The stats are incredibly destructive. They can easily slice through thick, sturdy steel column every time. Don't need to give you a nickname, but... Is that worth all this trouble? Yes. Though it's very hard to do, it is definitely worth the wait. It might be hell to do, but it's loads of fun. So, we are about done here, actually. I'm gonna try to get- I'm gonna try to go- try to go for a Gyarados. Just round things out, because you can find Gyarados anywhere from level 1 to level 100. Level 65! Nice! Not good enough. So yeah, Gyarados! Come on to level 100. Destructive force indeed. Well, they're not really spawning for me right now. Well, right as I say that. Let's catch you. And then probably call it good. Oh, speak of the devil. Man, that's all I was looking for, but still really nice. So catching yourself level 1 Gyarados is probably a good treat because of how uh, hard it is. So yeah, so I think we are done here in the nature reserve. There's a hot skip and a jump back to my plane. Want to go back to Mr. Stralton City? So, let's go ahead and head back. Free teleport back. So, with that... That was loads of fun. I never really get to go there. In fact, that's the second time in every in any playthrough I've gone there. Only outside my first playthrough. And what do you have to say, sir? We obtain a medal. Good rod fisherman. And a glorious medal. Lucky color. Get a shiny Pokemon. Very nice. Talk about needing luck. So, hardy nature. Meh, could be better, but I really like Haxorus. I'm gonna see what, what its IVs are. Meh, nothing too amazing. There's a good special defense, though. But, shiny, shiny. I'm definitely happy. Also, no speed IVs. Oh well. So, that was very interesting. So, uh,. With that, we don't have much left to do. The end of our journey is in sight. We don't have much left to do. In fact, everything left we have to do except for one little thing involves us taking on super bosses. Our journey is coming to a close. But, with that, we made pretty good progress this episode. We managed to do ourselves a lot of random stuff. And next time, Pokemon Black and White 2, we take on the, the Black Tower at long last. I will see you guys then.